Hello, welcome to my review video. Today I bought you some very interesting perfumes because this is interesting to me because I, this is a very new perfume for me. And I don't know how many people are you aware of this perfume, uh, but this is not very old, but also not very recent. Uh, this is The Merchant of Venice. Of course, we are all, we all of us, I'm sure, in our childhood, we already read this um, book, The Merchant of Venice. We have, I have a quite a nostalgia with this name because uh, in my school there was a drama, a drama class and I, I took a part in that and this Merchant of Venice was staged. It was an amazing, amazing day. Anyways, <laughs> that was a small history of mine. And this is um, all of, it has six perfumes of 5 ml. And this is the Murano collection. Uh, if you go to their website, you will be able to see they have quite large collection. And uh, very interesting. All of them are quite interesting. And it has a small... Um, what do you call it? It has a small history. They said this Murano collection narrates the history of traditional trading routes between the Venice and the Orient. Routes that formed uh, the cradle of modern perfumery and ignite the discovery of new exotic raw materials. That's deep. Yes, and they actually this perfume will tell you the journey these perfumes are the six perfumes are heavily um, heavy with the notes of sicilian citrus um, jasmine there are rose and very special saffron i have to say before i start explaining all six perfumes that these all of these are quite quite it was I, I'm using this for a week as you can see all the testing uh, strips are here so that I can remember the notes and also I have to say these perfumes actually quite surprised me um, every single are different experience I will explain you my experience this is going to be a long uh, video so let's start um let me start from byzantinium saffron i guess this is the first perfume yes this is the first one so this is the byzantinium saffron it was launched in 2013 let me show you the bottle oh my god their bottles are a piece of art this is byzantinium saffron can you see the first one beautiful the print of red and then the whole bottle is transparent so it's like uh, somebody put a net on a transparent body and the shape of the bottle is quite adorable so let's explain byzantinium saffron the it is rated 4.13 in fragrantica and um, let's talk about the notes notes it has uh, in the top note it has a saffron thyme black pepper and lemon mid note it has the white suede cedar white lily lilac rhubarb in the middle note base note it has the crystal amber indonesian patchouli and that's it so how did i feel when i sprayed it let me show you the thing when i first sprayed on my skin i got very high quality warm saffron smell i have a box of saffron in my own kitchen and i can immediately uh, wherever you use saffron i can immediately identify so I can feel it's a very high quality saffron. 
Unfortunately, the saffron is pretty strong to hide all other notes. This perfume is full of gorgeous notes, but the saffron stole the stage. But after the dry down, maybe two, after two, three hours, I find it similar to Tom Ford white patchouli. Um, because uh, remember in the base note, they have the patchouli leaf very very long lasting excellent projection and the packaging is worthy to keep in the vanity it is a fall evening fragrance i would say it is a leathery perfume which i find suitable for men so this is a perfume uh, which a guy can wear very easily uh, it reminds me a little bit of uh, nishani uh, colonia, uh, colonialized saffron I think the name if I'm uh, if I remember correct it is quite similar to that one but dry down is absolutely different uh, it smells almost like uh, Tom Ford patchouli white white patchouli so this goes the Byzantinium saffron let's go for the second one it's mandarin carnival this has the most cutest bottle this blue one this is the mandarin carnival let me show you the name if you want to buy this perfume because these perfumes are not cheap so if you want to try i would say the best way to try is like collect the samples try it if you like it then you get the full bottle so mandarin curved carnival was launched in 2013 it is rated 3.94 in fragrantica top note it has the italian mandarin tamarind bitter almond in the middle note it has the white peach orange blossom in the base note it has the watery notes mask rose cashmere wood so how did I, how did I feel when I used it or my experience? First, I really need to say this again: the bottle worth keeping. Beautiful, very cute bottle. The pack uh, the packaging of this uh, brand is out of the world. This is a very juicy, bright, summery perfume. Very generic to me, unfortunately. It smells very very similar to mandarin sultane by alexander j or body shop satsuma edb i'm sorry if i'm upsetting you right at the moment because i have both of the perfumes so it smells very close to that um, the dry down is beautiful masky orange if you like orange probably it's a keeper the DNA to me is very similar to Tom Ford DNA. Um, you know, some perfumes like Chanel or Perfume de Marley, Tom Ford, they have a DNA. Every perfume they create, you'll find that DNA. In this one, I don't know why, uh, the Merchant of Venice, I find the Tom Ford DNA quite similar because the other perfume I had, uh, the first one, Byzantine, um, saffron that one also had a bit of DNA of Tom Ford this one is quite strong if you want to try if you can collect a decant um, you can try it and you will agree that time with me as well so this was the second one let's go for the third one Swave petals I think in the whole collection this one is the most interesting one this is the third one the bottle is as usual pretty very very pretty so the suave petals are uh, rated 3.98 in fragrantica it was launched in th 2013 the notes it has on the top note it has nectarine blossom nectarine apple pineapple bergamot in the mid note it has the white rose orris orange blossom tuberose in the bed base note it has the patchouli sandalwood vanilla and amber 
So this perfume projection and longevity is serious. It is no joke perfume. Uh, this is probably one of my, uh, it smelled quite the most interesting perfume to me in the whole collection. I never smelled anything like this one. It is to me a mysterious one. It is an orris dominated scent. Opening is fruity, but dry down reminds me of dark old places. Also reminds me of incense burning of a religious place like... I can remember I smell the similar uh, smell in a Buddhist temple in Bhutan. Uh, surprisingly, there is no incense in this perfume, in this one. There is no incense note, but still I can smell incense. It is a special fragrance. It, uh, like anybody, uh, if you want to use it uh, in the state, any state, um, I think your mind will be peaceful or maybe you want to use it in a peaceful mind. It's a very different perfume. Um, I think it is more suitable to use during yoga or in a spa or in a prayer room. I feel like this is a perfect perfume uh, for a prayer room because I think it represents um, purity, this perfume. Uh, more reminds me the word purity so it, it is interesting i have never smelled uh anything like suave petals i don't know if i want to get a full bottle or not but maybe if i have money to burn maybe i will get the full bottle it's very interesting let's go for the next one um next one is what mystic incense this is uh, this is quite interesting bottle it's a brown and greenish uh, bottle as usual they're very pretty bottles so this is called mystic incense it was rated 4.12 in uh, fragrantica it was launched recently 2008 in 2018 in the top note it has caramel salt dried fruits in the mid note it has incense white woods in the base note it has again incense and cacao so how is it it is another interesting scent i have to say this brand created quite dark interesting scents i mean if somebody want to play with perfume i think this is a brand you want to experience they have something for everyone so no doubt it is a uh, incense based fragrance it is a sweet scent very balanced with woody notes if you put the proper attention then you may find a little bit of cacao i mean you have to put very uh, deep down uh, like you have to dive in the scent in the dry down you will find a very little vibe of cacao unfortunately the projection and the longevity was not like others you may smell it within three feet stays only two three hours then it fades away but on the clothes it stays longer again this is not a regular use perfume it is occasional i think it's more suitable for you know again those spa times prayer times you know the private time this perfume is more like enjoyable for yourself this is not for this is uh, this can be used for yourself this is not for you know uh, what do you call it compliment getter this is these are not that kind of perfume and you know what i believe i believe people wear perfumes for themselves it's not like you have to wear perfume just to get compliments from others it has nothing to do with it in the first place if you are wearing perfume for others then you should be get, getting your perfumes by testing by others not with your own nose right that sounds very stupid so anyways these perfumes are a little bit private i think you should be testing first if you want to get a full bottle test first try first at least wear for a week then you should decide 
if you want to get the full bottle or not. So this was the Mystic Incense. Let's go for the second last one. It is Andalusian Soul, is it? It's a weird Andalusian, Andalusian Soul. So the, this is rated 4.16 in the Fragrantica. It was launched in 2018. Top note, it has rum, acacia, incense. Mid note, it has labdanum, uh, sage, rosemary. In the base note, it has the vanilla, amber, save it. This perfume surprised me. Looking at the notes, I was expecting it to be a boozy perfume, but it is a soft, sweet, almost caramel pudding type smell. I mean, when you're like, just you uh, you just made the pudding and it's still hot the smell you get is exactly that though it starts with a boozy rum very long lasting this one and very well projected perfume stays easy five to eight hours on skin on cloth it will stay much longer till it get washed if I talk about the packaging, that is a 10 out of 10. So this is the bottle, the orange and yellow, nice shady kind of uh, bottle. This is a beautiful bottle. Um, this is a perfect wear for fall evening. To me, it is more suitable for mid-aged women rather than young people. I mean, the whole set is, I think, it's for mature nose. It's not for young or the beginners. This perfume need to be, to understand these perfumes, you need a little bit more mature nose. You need a bit more experience in perfume. So let's go for the last one. It's Rosa Mosaniga. Rosa Mosaniga rated 4.20 in Fragrantica. It was launched in 2016. In the top note, it has Rose Sicilian Bergamot Cases. In the mid note, it has Rose Magnolia Pink Lotus. In the base note, it has Rose Mask Vanilla Absolute crystal amber white cedar extract i think in the um, in the box whatever the perfume was there it has the most complicated notes this one is a beautiful rose fragrance which matches the pedium delina dna now you can say if i have delina why should i get this one of course it's your choice if you want to buy it you can buy it if you don't want to buy it, just try it. Go ahead with the samples. You should smell it first. I found the dry down is uh, pretty similar to Atomic Rose by Initio rather than Delena. Though the uh, perfume comes earlier than Atomic Rose, that means um, this one came first. Initio launched Atomic Rose later. Yes, Atomic Rose is a very recent perfume. In the notes, they didn't mention what kind of rose they used, but my nose picks up. It's full of Turkish pink roses. Um, it, uh, it has sharp carving of lotus at some point. It does have a lotus note and I get it. I mean, I there are some notes I can actually very quickly identify and lotus note is one of those. Good projection, very long lasting, daytime perfume I have to say. This one is not an evening perfume. More suitable for autumn or fall. Most beautiful for both men and women. So yes, it can be worn by both just like the Initio Atomic Rose. Um, it is an interesting perfume. In the beginning, I found it like, it's like a bit Pidium Delina, and the dry down was more like Initio Atomic Rose. If you wanna know, 
many people say that uh, Initio Atomic Rose and Delina, PDM Delina is similar. I, you can check my playlist. I have reviewed and compared both of the perfume. Uh, what are the differences? Because they are not same. So if you want to know, you can check that. So that's it. This was the last perfume. Um, if you ask me um, if I want to get something from this um, sample set, I would say probably the Swift Petals are really catching my mind, seriously, because um, that is something I have never experienced before. Uh, you know, sometimes a uh, day, a time in a day, you want to be alone. You want to spend some time with yourself. You want to pray. You want to um, think about your own future. So I think that perfume reminds me of that time of the or that part of my life in a day um, when I want to use that perfume to focus my mind. I think so. I mean, it feels like the purity version, as I said during the description. So if you like my video, please like, share and comment. And if you have used it, please let me know what were your experience, because these are very interesting to me. And uh, I don't know when I will buy the full bottle, but yes, I'm keeping it in my mind. I will get one bottle. And um, if you're new, please subscribe. What are you waiting for? I'll see you again. Bye-bye.